When a company proves its success in a competitive field, it naturally builds trust, drawing in even more clients eager to invest. This is exactly what's happening with SpaceX. With each groundbreaking launch, they're capturing global attention and attracting a growing number of new clients, one of the biggest being the U.S. military. Recently, the military entrusted SpaceX with a game-changing task that could redefine the future of space and defense technology. In today's video, we'll dive into the details of this exciting new mission and what it means for SpaceX and the U.S. military. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. The U.S. military has steadily increased its budget for space missions over recent years, focusing on strengthening national security and developing advanced space capabilities. This funding supports a range of projects, including satellite deployment and secure communication systems. In 2022, the Department of Defense allocated approximately $24 billion to space-related programs. A significant portion of these funds was directed towards launching satellites. SpaceX handled about 70% of the military's launch missions this year, largely due to its reliable and cost-effective launch systems, such as the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. In 2023, the military's space budget increased to around $26 billion. During this period, SpaceX took on an even larger share of military launches, covering over 80% of these missions. By 2024, the budget for military space projects reached approximately $30 billion. SpaceX accounted for about 90% of military launch missions, establishing itself as the primary launch provider for the U.S. government. Now, the Department of Defense wants to take its partnership with SpaceX even further. They're considering the possibility of either fully taking control of the Starship program or making a heavy investment. Starship's unique features, such as rapid global transportation, high payload capacity, and full reusability, could offer significant advantages for military logistics and strategic operations. The Starship project has been a significant financial undertaking for SpaceX. Reports suggest that SpaceX has invested over $3 billion in the development of Starship so far. This investment includes costs related to research and development, production of multiple prototypes, testing, and the construction of launch infrastructure. Estimates for the total cost of the Starship program could range upwards of $10 billion when fully operational. SpaceX has funded the development largely through revenue from its commercial launches and contracts with private and government clients. The Department of Defense sees potential value in integrating Starship into its operations. The rocket's ability to transport resources anywhere on the planet in under an hour could revolutionize how the military moves supplies and personnel. Additionally, Starship's large payload capacity allows for the transportation of heavy equipment and bulk supplies in a single launch, streamlining complex logistics that typically require multiple trips. The Department of Defense has also considered using Starship for rapid satellite deployment. The rocket's lifting capacity makes it possible to launch entire constellations of satellites quickly. This capability would be crucial during a crisis when the military might need to replace damaged satellites or expand its communication. The Department of Defense has already awarded SpaceX a five-year contract worth $12 million to gather data on the rocket's potential for transporting cargo and providing humanitarian aid. Transitioning from contracted missions to potential government ownership of the program would involve deeper integration of Starship into military operations. However, Musk's stance on this proposal is uncertain. Musk has previously expressed reluctance to see his technology used purely for military conflict. For example, he limited access to SpaceX's Starlink satellite network in Ukraine to prevent its use in offensive military operations. More importantly, Starship has been Musk's passion project for achieving ambitious goals in space exploration. Musk has long dreamed of using Starship to send humans to Mars, establish colonies on the moon, and conduct deep space missions. If the Department of Defense were to control the program, it could limit these exploration-focused ambitions. 
military use of Starship would likely prioritize defense-related missions over long-term plans for interplanetary travel, potentially hindering Musk's vision for the rocket. Apart from these long-term plans with the Department of Defense, SpaceX has recently won another major contract that strengthens its role in U.S. national security. In a recent competition for military launch services, SpaceX secured Lane 1 in Phase 3 of the National Security Space Launch Program. SpaceX stood out in this competition, particularly because its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets are already certified for national security space launch missions. Other competitors, like United Launch Alliance and Blue Origin, are still working to certify their new rockets to meet these rigorous standards. With its operational readiness, SpaceX was able to handle about 90% of the U.S. military's launch needs in 2023. This high involvement illustrates SpaceX's increasing importance to U.S. national security and the Department of Defense's trust in their capabilities. Just three days before being awarded this contract, SpaceX achieved a major milestone by successfully catching its Super Heavy booster mid-air during the fifth test flight of Starship. During this flight, the Super Heavy booster successfully returned to the launch site and was caught mid-air by the launch tower's mechanical arms, known as chopsticks. After liftoff, the Super Heavy booster separated from the Starship upper stage and executed a controlled descent back to the launch site. The booster was then captured by chopsticks, a first in spaceflight history. Meanwhile, the Starship upper stage continued its flight, performing a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. Building on the success of Flight 5, SpaceX is now preparing for the sixth test flight of Starship, known as Flight 6. Preparations are underway at the Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. The Super Heavy booster designated for this mission has been delivered to the launch site and is undergoing pre-launch testing. These tests include static fire tests of the Raptor engines, structural integrity assessments, and system checkouts to ensure all components function correctly. A notable development in the lead-up to Flight 6 is the Federal Aviation Administration's issuance of launch licenses. Historically, each Starship test flight required a separate launch license, often leading to delays as SpaceX awaited regulatory approval. However, for Flights 5 and 6, the FAA granted a combined launch license, streamlining the approval process. This dual approval allows SpaceX to proceed with Flight 6 without seeking additional authorization, provided all technical preparations are complete. The objectives for Flight 6 are expected to build upon the achievements of Flight 5. Key goals likely include another attempt to catch the Super Heavy booster, using chopsticks and further testing of the Starship upper stage's re-entry and landing capabilities. Recently, there has been speculation that SpaceX might attempt to catch the upper stage, known as Starship, using the same Mechazilla system. This would be a significant technical accomplishment, as the ability to catch both stages mid-air would greatly reduce operational costs by eliminating the need for ocean splashdowns and complex recovery processes. However, for Flight 6, SpaceX plans to follow a similar trajectory and mission profile as Flight 5, with the upper stage heading for an ocean splashdown rather than attempting a catch. The launch for Flight 6 is likely to happen by the end of November, with pre-launch testing already underway at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas. The timeline is coming together for a late November attempt. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we hope to see you in the next one.